When we create more than one place mark within Google Earth and we want to save those place marks, so a set of place marks, here we've got three, it's important that we save them correctly, otherwise we might uh, end up losing the work that we did. So here we can see in Google Earth that I have three place marks listed on the left-hand side under Places, and you can see them as well uh, in the map itself. Now you can save individual items in Google Earth at any time by clicking on that item, the particular place mark, and then right-clicking and choosing Save Place As. Uh, not Save to My Places, but Save Place As. And this will prompt you to save either a KMZ or KML file. Uh, either way, uh, that will work. E either file will work. Um, one is just a zipped version. Uh, in our purposes, it doesn't matter. But before we do that, we, we want to be careful because if we just do it with this one item, all we save is this one place mark. We'll lose the other ones. So in order to save all three of these items all at once so that somebody else can open them up and see them all at once, we need to uh, save them in a folder. So in Google Earth, what we do is we click either on My Places or Temporary Places, and we right-click and choose Add Folder. And what we'll do then is we'll create a folder to contain all of those place marks. I'm going to call it Salem, Pla Salem State Sites. Okay? And what that does is it adds a folder down here. And what we want to do is drag each of those place marks beneath that folder. So beneath means on top of essentially. So I'm going to right click or rather left click and drag this item onto that folder. Same thing with the other ones. And what you should see is that they are all um, indented beneath the folder. You can see the little dotted line that indicates that they are subsets of that folder. And this is really important because this indicates they're in the folder rather than just you know below the folder. Um, so in order to save all this work, we want to highlight the folder, not the individual items, just the folder, because these are inside of that. We right click on that folder and we go to Save Place As, and then we choose a location where we want to save it. So I already have one, I'm going to save over it. And Salem State Sites, again, it could be KMZ or KML, doesn't matter. And then choose Save. I'm replacing an earlier one I created, so that's fine. Save Yes, all right. And so now, I've saved the folder containing all three of these sites in there. And if I want to share that, and let me show you what that looks like, you'll see that there's a little um, file created in the location where you saved it uh, called SalemStateSites.kmz in this case. And if the computer has Google Earth installed, it'll probably have a little Google Earth sign to indicate that's the association for that application, so you can just open it up. Now. When you want to share this, uh, it's really simple because you just need to email that little KMZ file to anybody. Uh, and then as long as they have Google Earth, they just need to open that file and they'll see exactly the work that you created. The points will light down exactly where they should and they should see both the images and the video, again, uh, assuming they have internet access. Um, but before you do that, it's crucial that you test out to make sure that it'll work. So the best way to do that would be to email that KMZ file to yourself and then open it up on a totally different computer to make sure that it will work on a totally different computer. Because sometimes um, you set things up and, and they don't work somewhere else even though they work for you and your computer. When you're convinced or sure that it's going to work properly, you could um, eliminate that uh, material from your computer and then open up uh, that file. And if you did it correctly, what should happen is you'll see uh, those points line up again, and each one of them will have the uh, images that you created um, uh, earlier. And so that's pretty much it. But again, make sure that you test your work before submitting it.